Today's town says it's playing Battletech once again. And I'd like to show off target locking. So I've actually got two catapults here. Uh, so I took the medium loadout. I've got two catapults here. I have a locust here. And I have a panther here. So my locust is going to kind of try and grab people with the sensor lock. My panther is kind of going to be at the front. It's not going to be good for him because he's going to be up against some uh, pretty heavy mechs. My catapults here are going to just rain down missiles from afar. Try and soften things up and get things going. So, I'd, yeah, I just want to show off how sensor lock is fairly good on far away moving targets. So we're going to need to get a little locust here. He's going to get up front to give out some lockage here. I'd like to get him behind probably a hill somewhere. Maybe over here if I'm lucky. I want to get these guys up on top of a hill uh, where they can see from. I'll probably get them over here. And they can launch missiles from afar, I'm hoping. Uh, we'll get them both up here. I kind of want to get them maybe around here. Anything coming down this road should be pretty good for us, right? And then the panther... He's going to kind of try and hold the road for the catapults as long as he can. Uh, I am down about a million on fitting. So, uh, I might not win this, right? Because I am a little behind on cash. And they have a fair bit of weight uh, over me. So I have to do a lot of work with these... Um, with these mechs here. So we're going to try and get the Jenna, not the Jenna, the Locust up here. I would like him to get actually over here um, if I can. Because I think the mechs should be around here somewhere. Which will mean that these guys way back here can hopefully do some work. Might try and get them on the road. I just want to get direct shots down this road. And do a fair bit of work. Uh, we're going to get Panther. He's going to try and hold this road for a little. It's not the greatest of positions for him to be in. Uh, since he has to hold by himself. Pretty rough situation. And we can fire out to about here. With the LRMs, I think. So we'll get you guys to here. Uh, we'll get you down there as well, and we will see what we can see. So, you, indirect fire is okay, but if you can get direct fire with your LRMs, it's even better. Uh, because with the direct fire, you get you basically get bonuses to hit, right? Whereas the indirect is not great. The sensor locking, hopefully we can do that soon. Oh, okay, maybe not. Uh, we might put the put the panther up first. I have to be careful with the Locust. He could just potentially get one shot here. Uh, especially against, I think they've got some... I forgot what I gave them. Did I give them heavy mechs or something? I can't quite remember. Uh, Locust is probably going to sit tight. So we will get you braced in. We'll probably move our two catapults up. Just keep them towards the back though. Where they can do... Uh, the best amount of work. And we will see. The enemy should be in soon. Hopefully they're just running straight down this road. And straight at us. So I will get shots down the road. Alright, here we go. Here we go. What do we got here? Alright, we're not quite sure what we've got. So, we have the panther. And we got witness here. So witness is actually going to sense lock up this one. We'll see what we get. 25 tons. We want to take out the light ones first. So this is good for us. So we actually got... What did we get here? We got a commando. And he's coming straight in. He is going to get hammered. Absolutely hammered. What we'll do is... We're actually going to reserve ozone here. Because I reckon I can knock him down with the two catapults. The catapults maybe have direct fire. So we're going to reserve ozone. Try and knock him down. Uh, without his sprint bonus, he is probably in a world of danger. We're going to reserve Ozone again. 
just get him into range with the other two here. We're going to take some ranged fire ourselves. Luckily the panther, he sprinted this turn, so he's not going to take too much damage. I'll probably just... I don't know. So, here we go. So this is where it gets good, right? So I now have direct fire on this guy. And we have 95 to hit. It is going to be interesting to see if we push him onto the ground. I really want to push him over so that uh, Ozone here can do some massive damage. So in we go with a whole lot of rockets. Obviously direct fire is what you really want on this situation. Because 95, otherwise indirect, it's uh, something completely different. I can't remember what you get. Looks like they're going to try their own LRMs back at us, but without uh, sensor locking, the dodge does a lot of work, right? So we're going to get Paradise in as well, and we are just going to drop some rounds on this guy. If we can get this guy in down as well, it forces the next bunch of their mechs in, because they can't see us, and it really hurts them. So we've got 85 here. Um, not great. But it will do. So hopefully we can punch this guy onto the ground. Force the next big bunch of mechs in. Ozone should get a shot. Look at that. He is taking a hammering in there. Right arm's already gone. He's knocked down. Which is really good for us. Because now Ozone can just kind of stroll on up. And just shoot him in the face. The other good thing is, is because we didn't use Ozone. He still has the sprint. Um, so we're going to roll on here. Probably to about here and just a blast this guy. What do we get here? 30 versus if we go here, we get... Hmm, where can we go that we get a decent shot? 70, here we go. So we'll take right smack here. The only problem is, is we are moving, so we are going to lose... Actually, what do we get from here? Um, I don't want to reserve you, you that's want? for sure. If I shoot from here... We'll get 77. I might just shoot from here. He does have Bulwark, so he will gain some damage resistance. He's going to lose his um, his other stuff here. We'll just shoot him in the torso. Hopefully, we can get him down. I would love for this stuff to hit, because he is going to get up if we don't. Come on, he is down. So that's real good for us, because now it forces the next bunch of mechs in. And they, they should be better than us, right? They have the tonnage. But because they have to come in piecemeal like this, the catapults are going to do some serious work back there. The more people we can knock down, the better. Our, our locust here can probably lock up the next one. So we've got a 50 ton, an unknown, and an unknown. So we'll just work on what we know. The 50 ton will be next. I'm pretty sure that's their next lightest mech. We'll see what we get in here. I'm going to sensor lock this guy. And what did we get? We got... Is that a hunchback? It kind of looks like a hunchback. Uh, it is a hunchback. Alright, so once again, Ozone, he's just going to relax. And wait for the two catapults to push this guy over. If we're lucky. Otherwise, he'll just take his shot anyway. Looks like he sprinted in. Um, but he loses his any bonus that he has. From the fact that our locust here is screwing him over. I think this is another... Oh, what is this? Centurion. He's going to take a couple of hits. Uh, unfortunately, our panther, he has the front line. There is uh, no two ways about that. I could get my catapults in maybe a little bit closer, but I don't particularly want to. What do we got here? 95. Actually, I can fire my medium lasers as well. So we might get... Where was it? Here, I think? We can fire medium lasers. We do have to be aware that uh, there's a lot of heat going on. A lot of heat. Uh, so we might move up our catapult. We're going to fire as much as we can into the old hunchback here. He is now up close and personal. That is going to throw a lot of heat our way. We might just do it. What would the next round of shooting be without these? Alright, so we can probably do a round of medium lasers, and then everything else has to be LRM after that. Unfortunately, the Hunchback might tank most of this. Um, but that is some hefty damage. Absolutely hefty damage. 
Uh, poor old Panther. Yeah, he's going to take a few hits back. Luckily, it's only uh, LRM sort of stuff. If we can get this guy down before we lose our Panther, we will be in a real nice position to keep on working these guys over 90. Really? Can you get some... Is there some high ground going on here? I swear this guy has better chances to hit. Um, we don't want to get too close because that will mean that we... Our uh, LRMs might become less effective. So we'll just move the catapult probably here. And keep this guy in a world of hurt. The thing is, is we can stop sensor locking soon. And we can start using the locust to do a little bit of damage. Because this guy is just going to probably sit tight and stare at us funny. Paradise! Unleash, buddy. Unleash hell. Another decent hit with the laser. His armor is rocking some damage though. And now with a knockdown, the Op Panther can probably get a decent hit in here. We might just work on his arm here if we can. Uh, so what do we got to hit at the moment? Uh, let's have a look. What do we have? We have 75s. 75s probably pretty good to stay still. On his right arm, he has a medium laser. Probably up here, he has an AC-20. So I would like to kind of get rid of some of this stuff. I could just go for the center torso, though. The center torso is pretty mangled at the moment. So we'll try there. We'll probably hit... I don't know what we're going to hit here. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. Ooh, 50. And I'm not quite sure what the rockets did. They did something, hopefully. Uh, with him down on the ground, we'll probably just start opening up with uh, our little locust here. He's got machine guns. I didn't, I couldn't afford to give him anything better than this. So he's just going to open up with his machine guns. Oh, he cannot. Um, medium laser, that will do, I think. Medium laser will have to do. To the chest. A miss. 95 and you missed. That's alright. Ozone will get a shot in here as well. Well, and we are peeking out just a little. It's all in beta, boys. It's all in beta. I will probably take another shot. We are heating up a little here. Another shot to the torso. How's he going? 22. Alright, 75 again. Would love for this guy to go down. What are we missing here? Shot modifier. Shot modifier. Nothing really. Uh, we're going to be heating up quite a fair bit with the Panther. But, uh, ooh, there we go. We are into, we are into torso country now. He's going to get up, but the two catapults have another round of shooting. If he doesn't move forward, oh, he's going to move forward. Okay, we're going to have to back up a little with the catapults. Ooh. Locust lost a leg. The old LL is destroyed. So we did know that we're going to take a fair bit of damage here because, I mean, we're rocking the lights, right? These guys are going to back up. The AI loves to shoot from afar if it can. Um, so it's going to bring in indirect fire by the looks of it, which is not... I don't know about indirect fire. I don't think it's... It's not great, right? Uh, so from here, what do we have? What do we have shot-wise? Uh, we have 75, I'm pretty sure. Is it because of... He moved. Okay. So we can't get really better than this. Uh, can we get around a bit more? We can. Do we get still 75s? I would like to kind of... Uh, I don't really need to move. I think I just... Uh, Although I need evasion. I would like the evasion back, so we'll probably get in. We don't want to get close. Although, no, we don't want to get close because that will screw over our LRMs here. We can't move and twist enough to get here. Could just move forward one. Could just move forward one. That will do us indeed. So we're going to roll forward here. We're going to move him forward because he needs the evasion. And we are going to unleash on this guy. Hopefully we can get the center torso down. 
because I need... Uh, we're going to have to turn off all of these lasers, though. We are overheating pretty rapidly. Unfortunately, we're in the desert. Not much we can do about that. He's taken a fair few hits. If I can unsteady him again, then my two lights can probably do some work on him before he gets his turn. That is if my panther survives. But panther's not doing too bad, considering he is fairly much getting targeted by everything, right? Uh, we can precision strike, but it's not required. 40, so we need to back up with you, I think. Uh, 85 and 60. Ah, oh, it's because you've got better gunnery, isn't it? That's right, because Sumo has better gunnery skills. Um, so when you're picking people, obviously you want to pick people who are obviously better with the gunnery skills on your backline here. Alright, so we're going to lock off the medium lasers here. Hopefully we can knock this guy down, and that will mean that uh, the other two can do a fair bit of work against them. He is, he's knocked down, so the PPC, up close and personal, will hopefully do the trick. And it'll force the next two in on us, once this guy goes down, because they will not be able to see me. Uh, so I would love for you to be able to do this, but can you? Let's have a look. You have 75 with the SRM. And not enough with anything else. Can we maybe jump here? And what will this give us? 75 across the board. I will take 75 across the board. It's not great that we have to jump. We do get a bonus because we've moved though. So we at least get some roll to hits on that. Jump back here. And we will lob the old PPC straight into your center torso. If we can do enough damage, he should go down. Come on, PPC. Hit him. Oh, we're going to overheat, though. All right, he's losing bits and pieces here and there. Ooh, we're going to have to shut down, which is not great. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should have just done the SRMs. Um, oh, I can't see him. All right, uh, we will stand you up. Hopefully, he should come in now because this guy's shut down. Um, what we might do is we might run forward and probably shoot him with the machine guns, I think. Or could we... Can we actually just melee him? No, we cannot. Uh, we can. So I could just melee him for 165s. I might do that. Uh, I would like to step on him from the side here, although... No, I want to step on him from the front. Hopefully we can crush the center torso with this attack. Um, the two machine guns. It's going to be into exposed territory. The old chest is exposed. We are limping in with one leg. Not great. Uh, come on. Bit of damage. 15. It's not enough. Come on. There we go. There we go. We just machine gunned him to death. Pretty embarrassing, buddy. Pretty embarrassing for you. That is fine. Witnesses. All sorts of hunky dory. The uh, camera is twitching out just a little. We've got a Centurion coming in and a 75. My god, I don't know. Oh, come on. Relax on the camera. I don't know how we're going to deal with the 75 here. We are possibly a little worse for wear. So, Paradise and Sumo, you guys need to... See, so sprinted in. I haven't actually tried this. I don't know if you can reserve to get them into being fifth. Which would be interesting. I don't think you can, right? We'll see what happens. Because obviously, ooh, that was, this could be the end of our Locus here. Could be the end of his uh, career. So, yeah, okay, so you cannot reserve all the way in. Um, what we might do is I might just brace these two, get a whole lot of heat back for them. Because at the moment, we are, we're pretty short, right? We are pretty short on... Um, heat on these guys. I'll move you probably here. Uh, we should get... We'll get your turn. We'll get you powered up. Uh, the panther is ready to go. The two catapults are looking fairly good. We're going to restart you. Uh, we'll leave you probably there. Uh, we have to leave you there anyway because you restarted. 
Uh, Jenna. I mean, sorry, I keep killing this thing at Jenna, but it is actually a locust. I would like to sprint out, but unfortunately without that leg, you cannot. Can you move? No, that would be a back shot. Could res reverse, I guess. Um, try doing your best to keep yourself alive. Although you can't fire from there, really, can you? Could just move forward and probably hose this guy with some machine gun. It's not going to do him much. He's... He's stuffed though anyway. Witness is pretty much in a really bad spot here. So I'm going to move forward I think. Oh no. I reversed. Oh my god I should have just. Ay ay ay. Look at that reversing though. That's some beautiful reversing right there. Um, and we're just going to open up with the machine guns. It's going to do basically nothing against the Centurion. What's back here? Uh, Alpha Striker right? Yeah look at that. Um, couple of threes. It'll do. It'll do. Uh, poor old Locust is going to get mauled. Probably to death. Left arm, left torso. Wow, the still going. Still going. It's got like... Is that one? I think that was one on the... Uh, yep, one on the torso there. Alright, that does mean that we can now... What kind of fire have we got in here? Probably got, uh, we need some LRMs. We can fire everything, I feel. I feel like we can fire everything. Do you want to not attack? For that would be nice. There we go. 75s, 55s. Full on heat. I could inspire and hit with everything, though. I think I might inspire, get the 95s going. Just want to do as much damage as I can at this point. Because I need to get this guy... If I get him down on the ground, then all of my cooled shots will be in there as well. So we're 95 across the board. Sumo's got decent firing. Should be okay. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. It's a rain of hell. And he is now unsteady. We did heat ourselves up a fair bit though. So unfortunately... We can't deal with that. This guy is dead. There's no way Jose, he's surviving there. The main problem we have is this guy, as soon as he steps in, is going to be... I feel like he's going to be better than my two catapults. Uh, Sumo, you're going to do exactly the same. So I would like to... Can we, you know, attack things? I would like to get, yeah, 60 across the board. I will happily take that. We're going to overheat. Well, we're not going to overheat, but we're going to heat up a little bit. Hopefully, we can push this guy on the ground. At which point, we can do some damage with, uh, with old Ozone here. So, they're down to two mechs. They're still, I feel, winning the weight war. Um... Ozone can put a round in. What kind of round can you get in here, Ozone? Uh, we'll probably just take the PPC and we will just go for... What is in this left torso? Uh, an LRM versus a left arm. Okay. Excellent. There's a bunch of LRM ammo in there. We'll maybe just shoot them in there anyway. Get some damage in. Oh, sorry. Pick here and we will fire. At least it's damage, right? Boom! 70... 37. Nice. He's gonna get up. Uh, we don't have the heat to really knock him down again. So we might have to brace with R2. Uh, he's probably gonna go for my little panther here. Panther's gonna get mauled a little. That's the kneecap. Come on, panther. You can do it. You're actually tanking pretty well. I mean, he's not a light light. He's got some... Some ability, right? Uh, we might just go in for the hits, I think. Save on heat. So I think we'll do this. We're getting a little desperate, but uh, it'll do. So we'll engage from here. Could have probably uh, death from above if I had the skill. Alright, off with that arm. Good. He's unsteady now. And we'll get the other one in there, I think. We're going to take a few hits on the catapult, but we are... In cover, I guess. Paradise is like, yep, I got this. I got it. 
I just want as many to survive as I can, so... We'll probably do exactly the same here. Uh, we'll just attack from... Can you actually go there? That would be bizarre. Um, something I could do. Yeah, you can beat this guy for me. Beat this fool. So we're going to hit him from the side again. He should lose his LRM. Unfortunately, it's not the AC-10. I would rather get the AC-10. The Assault Cannon. Let's do it, Sumo. Let's do it. Everybody just get in and punch this guy to save some uh, heat. Ooh, that was a big old hit. And he's going to get knocked down. Which means Ozone will now get another shot into him. Ozone's having a good old time here. And then these two boys, once they are ready, they can fire their, um, their guns in there. We don't want to melee, that's for sure. Can we... Can we... Ooh. Game is peeking out just a little. Uh, can we move then? Ah, are we too close for this? Is that what that is? Can we back up then? And... Nope. I would love to be able to shoot him. That would be nice. Come on. Come on, Beta. You can hold this together. Hold it together for me, buddy. Alright. Apparently, we cannot uh, shoot. Maybe it's because these two are in the way. I'm not too sure. He's probably going to get it back up. I wonder if he's going to take a swing or if he's going to shoot us. I would uh, probably just take the swing, right? What's he going to do? He is going to take the swing. Hopefully, we don't lose too much equipment from this. You are indeed, buddy. You are indeed. Uh, so Sumo is probably going to open up here. Would love to be able to fire most of my lasers. We will not be firing LRMs into this. Um, lasers should get through most of this side of his armor. Unfortunately, that center torso is well healthy. Um, which is not great for us. But we did get rid of left torso. Which means we are now kind of getting into the actual torso. Ooh, at least that missed. Comes some LRMs from downtown. Direct fire, not great. We are a little unstable. Paradise. Paradise City. Uh, Paradise, can you actually move this side? And face that way. You're unstable as well, so both of these boys are a little unstable. They haven't been taking their meds. Uh, we're going to kill the LRMs here, because they will do nothing. And we're going to fire in here. Start damaging the side, I guess. Hopefully we'll hit some torso as well. Ooh, we, got, uh, we got some AC ammo gone. Alright, my turn. Okay, I would love for Ozone to actually be able to shoot this time. Can you, can you shoot this time? She might just jump you. Could just jump you back here. That would be okay. 90 to hit with the PPC. I will take that. Uh, actually, do I want to jump you there? Can I jump you up here? My god, this, uh, we can't quite hit correctly from there. And that's too close. We could jump you here. He will take side shots. I don't know if I care. I'd rather they shot, I'd rather he shot at my, um, panther, than at, uh, than at anything else. So, we get, uh, 90 to hit with everything. Can we just overheat a bit here? Uh, I'm pretty sure we get a height advantage here. Yep, height diff, negative one. And we got some SRMs. So we're going to launch straight into this side. The reason I picked this side is because there's nothing in the way. So hopefully we should just get into the center torso. We're lucky. Oh, apparently we're going to hit some arms. Okay. I mean, some legs. Not cool. He's going to have a go spreading out his damage on my catapults. Don't know if that's the uh, plan, but he is going to do that. And he's going to knock down a catapult. No arms catapult. I don't know how that thing's going to get its ass off the ground, but somehow it is. Somehow it is. So we're going to stand up Pat Sumo here. I do not want called shots from... Way down there. And we are going to uh, stand up. And can we just fire on this guy again? I would love to just get... Hmm. I don't want to keep twisting this way. I could maybe... 
Uh, can I just jump right behind him? And do this? I can. Sneaky. Let's just do it. We're going to jump right over him. And be right behind him. And shoot him in the back. And it leaves us not so exposed to this guy as well. Which is an ideal situation. So he's got a little bit of armor on the back. Kind of unfortunate, but uh, should do some decent damage here. Oh, not quite. Uh, maybe I might have been better off shooting him in the side. Probably was better shooting him in the side. But at least the Panther's going to take the hits here for us. Indirect fire is fine. It's better than him shooting his AC whatever it is. I think it's an AC-10. Uh, how about we jump... No, I don't want to do that. I would like to jump here. And can I get this facing? I can just get that facing. He could just run here. If this was a human, that's all I would do. I would run here and shoot this thing in the back. Uh, we'll fire in his back again. Hopefully, we should destroy some back here. And he is down. Down for the count. It's going to force their 75 ton into us. And so far, we've only just lost the Locust. So, things are looking pretty good. Ozone, I think you can reserve here. Um, yeah, we'll just get you to reserve for a sec. And we'll wait for this guy to run in. And then the two catapults, they are overheating by a fair bit at uh, reserve. They are overheating by a lot. So this guy is a heavy. Uh, which is a little rough. A little rough for us, the old Orion. Uh, Ozone, he sprinted in. What I might do is I might just move my mechs into better positions um, instead of firing. Because of that sprint move. Uh, things are not the greatest. I would like to probably jump around the side of this hill. And then next turn, I can get around the side of him. I just want to surround him up a fair bit here. We'll lose sight. That's fine. Um, these two are just going to move as well. You're just going to brace there. Just get some heat back. Um, get anything we can sort of back here to make things kind of happier. I would like to be able to jump probably behind this rock. Get our heat back from over here. The jump jets are gonna... They're gonna cost us a bit of heat. Maybe I could just move. I might just move straight for this one here. Uh, yep, just brace. Alright, cool. Get, uh, get some heat back there. And you can sprint. So you, sir, are gonna... Hmm. Alright, you can circ and spin right around here as well. That looks pretty good. So now we'll see what he does. So whatever he does, he's kind of exposed. He's in the middle of the road. I wonder if he's gonna he's probably gonna go for my uh he's probably gonna go for my poor old ozone here. So ozone, I think what we might do is we might reserve you. If he comes this way, the two catapults can come out and get him. Did we not reserve you? Uh, we need to reserve twice. Okay, I'll take that. What is he going to do? He's going to come down the road. And that is fine by me. Because now Ozone, he can kind of come out. And have a peek at him. We will have a peek. Good old Ozone. He's like, I'm out of here. I'm having a peek. Alright, so he's fully entrenched here. Lots of damage reduction. Um... What do we got? 70s. Probably take that. Although, oh, I should have maybe reserved. Um, because we might have got the knockdown with the catapults. Alright, a little bit of damage to the arm. It is an Orion. So, there is some damage issues probably going to go on. We might get you up here if we can. And I think I might just fire... If if I can fire something, I'll be happy. But I don't want to fire too much that I overheat. So we might cool down on these. Can I just get an LRM on them? I'd like to start doing a little bit of damage, but I'd also like to start getting some heat back. So we'll give them the old one-two. 
get a little bit of stability going on. And then I can do the same with Sumo. Uh, something I can do. Alright, Sumo, you get around here as well. I'm there. I'm there. Sumo sounds so funny. Um, so we'll get him around here. We'll probably do exactly the same. I'll probably just fire the one LRM. Um, it'll get us most of our heat back. It'll overheat us. Can we fire a medium laser maybe? Just want to inch it down so that we can inspire and then fire everything, I guess. Um, we would just like to get him just kind of unstable. There we go. He's unsteady. My turn. My turn, boy. Uh, we're going to reserve you and we're going to see what he does. He might turn and run this way. Uh, we're going to reserve you twice. That's right. Or he might go for the catapults. All right, he's having a he's having a go. Ooh, Panther! Brutal hits to the Panther. That Panther's probably got uh, he's probably got one more turn right before he goes down. So we might move. Uh, can we move you just here? That would be nice. We'll probably inspire Paradise. Uh, let's see, if I fire with everything, how hot do we get? We get really hot. Alright, we might just ease up on that. What will get us back some heat? This will get us back some heat. Alright, we will do that. We'll just keep putting damage into this flank, I guess. Um, hopefully we can get that arm off him. We would like to get that arm, because that arm has got... It's got a medium laser and an SR SRM. Uh, you could probably... Hmm. So I want to just sit you tight. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, I could get you here. And then... Got a sensor trace. That's good for you, buddy. Uh, 95. Man, where's all that to hit coming from? Target size. I could maybe get a bit higher ground, too. What will give us back heat? Just the one. Alright, and then next turn we can just unload, right? Absolutely unload. Boom! Shredding that arm slowly, but he's going to fall, which will mean that Ozone... I might run Ozone, actually. I might just run him away. And then... That'll confuse the poor old Orion. He'll be like, oh god, what do I do? Uh, I'll tell you what you do. You don't do anything. So if I hop in, where can I get that'll save me getting shot? Probably here. I could have called a shot. Instead, we'll let him. Uh, we'll let him get up. We'll let poor old Ozone hide behind a rock here. Uh, did I not reserve you? Can we uh, brace then? I guess. Interesting that T, it went a little crazy there. I think because the initiative sometimes drops off when they're on the floor. Is he getting up? What's he doing? What is he doing? He's making a runner? Oh, here we go. He's coming in for the catapults. That's fine because now Ozone can come around and shoot him in the back. I will take that. Uh, you boys need to... Yes, yes, we can do it now. You are in a world of hurt. We're going to inspire Paradise so that he can uh, get all of his shots in. That's right, a storm is coming. Uh, we need to back up just a tad for the LRMs, I think. Plus, we want our evasion bonus here. So we'll get you backed up. This Orion is... Chunking some damage though. Hopefully this should shred a fair bit of armor. This is gonna be oh we're gonna overheat. Can we not overheat? I don't really want to take ah uh, you know what full damage. Just go overheat. It's fine. We're gonna ignore it. evasive here. Uh ooh that is nice. That is a critical hit. We're gonna take a little bit of structure damage there. Um, unfortunately for Sumo. He did evade this turn, so what we might do is I might stick, I might get you to sprint, and we might sprint right around behind him, or oh, well we could sprint up here, damn, I can't sprint there, 
Can we jump jet maybe to somewhere slightly better? We might jump jet here. That way we can twist. And we'll probably just let... We might just shoot him with our LRMs. Unfortunately, because of the uh, the run there, we are a little... We got 95 on these though. I will probably take that instead of the LRMs. 95s are good to go. See you later, sir. Come on, shred that arm for me. There it goes. No more firing that stuff into me, boy. His mech is a little trashed. We're going to hold Ozone twice. Um, because I want him to shoot him in the back. Or he's going to run. He is most confused. What is he doing? He's running for the trees. Ooh, he's entrenching himself. Okay. Uh, so you boys can now just happily shoot him in the back. That is happy days, right? Happy days. Can we jump probably here? Uh, oh, man. Uh, you are overheating. What we might have to do is we might have to... Can we... Hmm. All right, we're going to jump here, I think. That should at least get us in position. And then we'll just brace. That poor old overheating is... Reckon us a little. Those medium lasers need more heat sinks, really. Need a lot more heat sinks. Sumo, luckily, didn't fire too much, so we might just uh, might just fire from here. What do we got? 65s. All right, we are not firing from here. We are moving up, moving on up, boys. Get that maximum damage for the back. Look at that beautiful back. It's all presented for a, a big old hit. Big old hit here. Let's do it. So, he's got a fair bit of armor there, but uh, we have started doing chunks of damage to him. Ooh, that was a nasty hit there. We might have been better off just shooting him in the side. Ozone, uh, I think you can just probably reserve for a bit before you pop out. This is not bad considering we were under tonnage. Uh, actually, oh, you can just brace. Um, we were under tonnage compared to them. The catapults, they're not huge, right? They're not monsters. A lot of this stuff, if it gets up on top of you... I mean, a lot of this is because the AI is a little dumb, right? I mean, really... Look, he's just going to turn here and he's going to cover himself. So he's, he's fairly much boned, right? He's just like, yeah, just finish me. I've had enough. Can't take this anymore. Um, in fact, speaking of can't take it anymore, can we... Paradise, do you want to just... Uh, what do you got? You got a bunch of shots into is this rear armor this is and we'll get rid of the lrms because that's not going to do oh, what we got 95 okay 90 i'll take all right i'll take all of that just overheat yourself boy just overheat and we will finish his ass off rain it on down rain it on down how is he not dead he has nothing left all right that is a really hot mech but uh it's not going to matter. It is not going to matter against uh, all of this. We're just going to unleash everything. Even if we shut down, it's not going to matter. This guy should be dead. Boom. Look at all those missiles. It is everywhere. Mission successful. It's not bad. So, yeah, the old sensor lock is pretty sneaky, right? Remove the evasion. It's really good for uh, the initial contact. And then things like uh, just launching missiles from basically downtown. It is all good times. And we did all right. Poor old Mr. Locust here. He, uh, Locust, he, uh, he had a bad day. He had a real bad day. <laughs> he had some armor left, but yeah, he just, this whole side just crippled on in. Um, how much is left of this thing? We just shredded the center and the head dropped down. Shredded the side of this guy, shredded another side. It's all about shredding sides. Tune in next time for more adventures of Battletech. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.